how to find 10 deals a week. It sounds unrealistic, sounds like it's not going to happen, but it's totally doable. I actually have friends buying 30 to 50 homes a month. I also know of companies buying over 300 properties a day. It's totally doable with the right systems, processes, criteria, and people in place. They say greed isn't good, but when sourcing new opportunities and that desire to grow, greed is perfectly fine. Because if you're not greedy to find more opportunities and deals, you're doing yourself a disservice and you're never going to be able to find 10 deals, maybe not even one deal a week, if you don't pursue it that way. You're in the real estate industry already and you're trying to do more deals. It feels like you're hitting a wall when scaling, especially with the tight market that we're in right now. I'm going to walk you through the steps that you need to implement daily, weekly, monthly, and annually in order to get to where you wanna be with deal flow. We're in Houston right now walking our new 56 unit crazy property here. It starts down there. We got a lot of billion dollar man. First things first, it's all about connections. Let's be straight here. The real estate business is a people business. If people don't know you, then you're not going to get more opportunities. You can know as many people as you want, but if they don't know you, then you have a problem. A daily task you can do in order to get yourself to the 10 deal a week level is networking with more people. You need to be constantly doing outreach, connecting with people that you aren't speaking to regularly. Even if you have spoken to them, follow up with a text. Make sure you have points of contact that you're regularly in touch with. By that, I mean anybody that you come across may have a new opportunity for you at some time or another, and you need to build that bank that network bank of people that will be relaying you deals regularly as time goes on. So number one, on track to get you to 10 deals a week, I want you to reach out or speak to five new people every single day. It's very easy to do this today with social media. You could just DM a broker, you could DM a new person, you can make a post and then reach out to somebody that viewed it that you don't know. Hear some feedback, get to know what they do. It's very simple, it should take you no more than 25 to 30 minutes a day and that's how you broaden your network. It's utilizing the compound effect. Next is scraping the MLS. Every single place in America has their own MLS, whether it's a city or a state. In New York, we have MLSLI, also known as One Key. That's specifically for Long Island and the boroughs. I have a team that goes through the MLS every single morning and every single night to see what new deals have been listed on the market. There's other websites too, like Crexy.com, LoopNet.com, Zillow.com, Trulia, and Property Shark that you could go on daily and see new opportunities. You never know what property people missed from a week back, three weeks back, a year back, and then if you follow up with that lead from a year ago that somebody listed on the MLS, then you have the potential to get a deal. I've done this with properties two years old that we've been working on. And from the day it was listed to two years later, we're the ones going under contract because other people have missed that opportunity. A weekly task that you can do to get you to that 10 property per week goal is to send out mailers once a week. Now, this could get expensive fast, so you might wanna hyper focus on where you're sending your mailers. Maybe you're scraping Property Shark or PropStream, finding properties with high equity, for example, or high debt. Let's say somebody just refinanced and there's public records of that. So maybe they need money, and you pull that list and you send out 100 mailers in a week. It's not super expensive, but it is fairly costly. Mailers can range from a couple of cents to a dollar or two, depending on how crazy you go per mailer. So if you send 100 a week, if you budget well, you might be spending $100 a week on these mailers. You never know, one deal will pay you back a hundredfold of that $100 a week. Next, you wanna build your broker's list. Brokers come across deals more than anybody else. It's no secret, 
This is the business they're in. Real estate brokers and agents all day long are sourcing new opportunities and you wanna work off of their backs as well and let them make money on you. It's okay for somebody to make money on you because they're going to help you achieve your goals and make more money. So what I have is a list of brokers that we work with regularly and brokers that we haven't spoken to. And through that list, we reach out to them constantly in order to source new deals. If you build this list out, I guarantee you you're going to find more deals because you're going to stay on the top of their mind all the time as you constantly reach out to these people. More brokers, more people that know you, more people in the industry, network wide, wide, wide net, and you're going to get more opportunities. Cast that wide net. All right, here's another angle that many people don't know about or don't consider. It's Craigslist. Craigslist has a real estate section. People post their real estate properties for sale by owner on Craigslist regularly. People post their properties on Craigslist for lease. Also, Facebook Marketplace for lease. This is a way for you to get in direct contact with sellers or potential leasing owners, right? Landlords looking to lease their properties and you get in touch with them before anybody else does and offer to buy their property. Now, you're going to need to come up with a way to present this. You don't wanna just go in and say, I'm buying your property, let's make something happen. You wanna go in and make it your first point of contact, something smooth, something get your foot in the door and make them like you and then you build from there on. They say it takes seven points of contact before a deal actually gets into contract or closed. With that being said, don't expect to hit on your first swing. You might have to take seven of them before you actually get somewhere. There are tons of ways to find deals in this industry, but the ways I just outlined for you have been some of my most successful. I also suggest utilizing social media. I touched on this briefly, but if you post Every single day for a month straight, you're going to cast a wider net. Wider net, more people, more opportunities. I keep saying it over and over again, but it's the truth. At the end of the year, analyze where all your deals came from, and it's going to help you get a better idea of what to focus on and where to devote more money. Deals are in the data. If you analyze your data, you're going to find out where things are coming from, and that's how you're going to focus and grow even faster than ever. Thank you for tuning in. I hope this was good for you. I hope you learned something. I hope I provided value. Please like this, share this with a realtor friend of yours or somebody looking to make more deals happen. I hope this helps them. Follow me on Instagram. I've also been posting actively on LinkedIn lately. Let's make some deals happen. If you have a good deal, shoot me a DM, email me alon at avgi.co and let's make stuff happen. Until next time. Thank you.